Welcome back to Sports Time here at Giants Stadium. You can hear the crowd behind us cheering. We're at the 2008 High School Football Kickoff Classic. And joining us now at the comfortable Sports Time Studios, Corey Doviak of NorthJerseySports.com. Corey, can you hear me? Crystal clear, Jack. All right, as long as you can hear me loud and clear, that's all that counts. Corey, let's get right to it. Don Bosco Prep ranked number three in the nation. They were unbeaten last year. In fact, they haven't been beaten in more than two years. We saw three of the top teams in Jersey here at the kickoff classic. Can Don Bosco be beaten? Well, the question now is, can anybody in New Jersey beat them? Obviously, they lost their season opener on the road at St. Xavier in Ohio. But when it comes to New Jersey football, Don Bosco Prep is still the gold standard. Uh, in fact, on NorthJerseySports.com, we just did our first edition of our top 11 football rankings, and even at 0-1, Don Bosco Prep is still our number one team. Until somebody in Jersey beats them, you got to put them, you got to leave them up there. Obviously, Bergen Catholic is going to take their shot. St. Joseph is going to take their shot, and they, may, you know, there may be some tough matchups along the way for them. But you know, to uh, to be a champ, you got to beat the champ, and uh, Bosco is still the champ as we speak here. Corey, let's talk some BCSL American football. Riverdale, the defending league and state champions. But the Richfield Park Scarlets, one of the top teams in our local area. They went 5-3 and three last year. They qualified for the state tournament. Where do you see the Scarlets this year in the BCSL American mix? Well, we got a little bit of an answer on uh, Friday night when, uh, you know, Riverdale put up a 21 nothing victory over Richfield Park. That's the negative for the Scarlets. The positive is they got the toughest game on their schedule, on their league schedule, out of the way, opening week. They learn some things about themselves. And, you know, the BCSL American, obviously, uh, Riverdale is, is the defending champion. They look to be the class of the league again. Tenafly is a very good team. I saw them win their opener against uh, Englewood on Saturday. They've been to the state playoffs two straight years. But after that, you got a, a bunch of teams that looks like it's going to be the mix. I know Cliffside Park and Dumont played a very close game on opening week. So you got to figure out there's some wins to be had out there for Richfield Park. And I would say that for them, making the league, uh, making the state uh, tournament again, is not out of the question. It could be a little bit of an uphill climb. Now, hold on, Corey. I'm going to disagree with you there. The Richfield Park Scarlets, they got a good team. They got some crazy fans. And I'm sure a lot of the Scarlet fans out there would totally disagree with you. But let's move on to soccer. Cliffside Park, the boys' soccer team, had a magical season last year. They were runners-up in the Bergen County Tournament. They made it to the state sectional finals, but they lost a lot of seniors. Will Cliffside Park have another magical season? Well, it's hard to say if it's going to be a magical season because, you know, when a team gets to a tournament setting and things are clicking right, they can make one of those runs. I'm not saying it's out of the question for Cliffside Park, but for a public school, especially a Group 2 public school, it's hard to say that, yes, they're definitely going to make another run like that because, they, as you said, they lost a group of seniors. They have some question marks to answer in goal. But, you know, there are, again, wins to be had in the BCSL American. Obviously, they have a big game with Riverdale on, big game with Riverdale on Monday. Uh, Tenafly is always good. Fort Lee is always good. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're going to have some tough, tough matchups, but Cliffside Park has taken that step from good team to good program, and it seems like they uh, rebuild every year, and they're one of the best teams in Bergen County. So not out of the question for them to make another big run in the county tournament, although if you can say that, uh, that they would expect it, that's uh, tough to prognosticate early on. Well, Corey, I'm sure Jim Pusey, the Cliffside Park boys coach, is certainly going to work his boys hard and get them ready for the 2008 season. Corey, let's switch to girls' soccer and the BCSL Olympic. A lot of heads turning about the Leonia Lions girls' soccer team. Tell me about them and their star player, Rachel Green. Uh, it's nice when a small school like Leonia, who struggled a little bit in girls' soccer over the past uh, couple of years, can get a player like Rachel Green. And then actually, you know, when a small school like that can get a, a player of that caliber who can put the ball in the net, that's a key because the rest of the league, you know, it's very there's a lot of parity in that small school league. So they can win games. Obviously, Creskill is probably the class of that league. Uh, they, you know, won a state championship two years ago, made the county tournament last year, another trip to the state uh, tournament. But after that, you know, the Richfield Parks, I, I'm sorry, the uh, Richfields and other teams like that, you know, Leone's going to be able to compete on that level. So maybe a trip to the county tournament where you have to have a 500 record to get in is not out of the question. And maybe they pop up and bite somebody in the league race as well. Not out of the question. All right, Corey, thanks a lot. Corey Doviak from NorthJerseySports.com, your high school sports address. And, Corey, I don't want you to get jealous. We're about to pick up some of the juiciest chicken fingers in the Meadowlands. Don't get hungry on me now, pal. Oh, you're killing me, Jack. You always get the gourmet meal. Chicken fingers, in this case, would be gourmet because your producer, Mike Stanton, just brought me a, a bag of stale Doritos. Thanks a lot, Mike. Enjoy your chicken wings, Jack. I hope you don't choke. All right, thanks a lot, Corey. Once again, check them out at NorthJerseySports.com. Sports time, I'll be right back. 